joining me. Welcome back. So today's video I'm going to share is a haul video. Some items that I picked up here and there. So if you guys are interested, keep on watching. So I picked up products from Ulta, Walmart, I think Juvia Place. I got some uh, items, some of their palettes. Yeah, some of their palettes. A little bit of everywhere. I do think it's mostly Walmart and Ulta though. First I'll share a hair product because I think this is the only hair product I got. And I picked up the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Treatment Mask. I have heard other people share this and show it on their videos and have really liked it. So I thought I'd give it a try. It deeply moisturizes while conditions the hair and scalp. And I believe, yeah, it's supposed to help with healthy hair growth and just stimulate the scalp, remove all the impurities, like, you know, give you a nice deep clean on your scalp. So I, I have tried this once and I liked it already for the first time that I tried it. For the body, I bought some um, shower cream, I guess is what it would be called. And it is from Soap and Glory. It's called Clean On Me. This one has natural mandarin peel extracts and a bonus built-in body lotion. I haven't tried this one. I tried one of their other ones. And I really liked it a lot. It had like almond scent, vanilla scent to it, and it was really nice. This one has a really nice scent to it too, so I know I'm going to love that. It's usually on Ulta. You can get lucky. They'll have like buy one, get 50% off. And I repurchased, I picked up some more of my vitamin C facial wash that I really like. You guys see me share this a lot. It does really deep clean your face. And my Yes to Coconuts Hydrating Restore um, Makeup Wipes to clean the face and hydrate the face. I love these ones. I haven't tried some of the others the aloe or blueberry or any of those ones, but I really liked these and I like that they're very thick towelettes. They're very thick. I, I just prefer these. I do. Then this product here from Olay is a cleansing infusion hydrating glow facial cleanser with deep sea kelp aloe extract. Oh, I love this cleanser. It smells really good. It is in a pump form. There you go. You can see it there. And really like it. It smells really nice. So, so far so good. They do have another scent that's ginger and some fruit, like a citrus scent, I think, but really like that. I picked up the Sue Replenishing Cucumber Mist, and I had a, I have a rose one, which I like the rose one. These aren't bad. I think they're pretty good. I like it better than Garnier. I have the Garnier Rose one, and it's okay. It's all right, but I think if anything, if I was in Walmart, I would repurchase the Soe before I get the Garnier again. There's the rose and like this cucumber one. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. If you get a chance, look in your Walmart and see. The only thing, their um, nozzle is a little bit cheapy, kind of a plastic nozzle. Um, but so far I haven't had no problems with it. But that's just the only thing to so be aware. It does come out a little bit heavy, not gonna lie. It, this does come out in a big all on spritz, but if you need something to refresh, the smell of this is worth it, I think. For Mascology, this 24 karat gold serum, I thought I would give it a try. They had this in my Walmart. Walmart does carry a lot of Mascology products now, I'm noticing. So, and it does have, you can see in here, the gold flakes. Can you see those in there? Sparkling a little bit. It's kind of a little blurry, but you probably can see them in there. And it is really nice. It smells, it has like a, um, a nice scent to it, like a fragrance scent. So far I'm liking it. It's pretty good. I'll work through it, whether it's really doing anything. I don't know. Oh yeah, also for the hair, I forgot. <laughs> I grabbed this. It's the three minute miracle strong, 10 times stronger in one week conditioner. These conditioners here from Aussie. I love the Aussie line for their deep conditioners. These three minute hair masks, they are really nice. So I got the one that says strong on it, not moist, but it's strong to yeah, 
just give it a try and see how well it works. I was just picked up my little uh, scrubbies. I like these things for times when, you know, like put it, you put my cleanser on and do a nice little um, exfoliating scrub. These are really nice. You can also use them if you wanted to really for your makeup brushes. You really could. If you wanted to clean your makeup brushes, you could use something similar to this. I know some others have that have done that. I am working and trying the Maybelline Lasting Drama Light Liner. These are a little bit different. They're like a retractable eyeliner compared because I have the Lasting Drama Maybelline eyeliners and I love those things. They're in a pencil form and they do some amazing lasting power. These ones, I don't know if they do a great lasting power as that one does, but this is in Shiny Bronze. And I use it a lot just to brighten uh, on the inner, in the waterline. And that's what I actually used today when I was doing my look. I used it on my waterline. Picked up one of the Wet n Wild, um, the new eyeshadow palettes that they have out. This one's the peach one. It is called Not a Basic Peach. Those colors just look so gorgeous. I cannot wait to play with it. And then in my Walmart, I found the Hard Candy Tiki uh, for $3. Now, I think they're doing new packaging to a lot of their products. I'm noticing that. And a lot of people consider this the highlight. It's, it does say bronzer, but it, it's more, more people consider it as a highlight. And it just gives a nice subtle um, glow highlight look. Others compare this to, I believe, the Mary Luminizer or something. I never had that, so I can't compare. Speaking of hard candy, I did pick up one of their uh, plumping serum lip glosses. This one's in the color Love Child. They are just a lip gloss, so they're just gonna give you a little hint of the color. You can smell a scent like, similar to, and some people are comparing them to the Buxom lip glosses. I can smell that scent somewhat. So you do get like a little hint of color you can put to your lips. I would definitely probably pick up a couple more of these colors. And this packaging is so super cute. Do you know what? It reminds me of the Too Faced liquid lipsticks that we're seeing from Too Faced. It's that same kind of uh, look to the design if you look at it. Okay, and then I bought one of these and liked it so much and I bought another one. And one of them I am wearing right now. And it is the new Physicians Formula. What are they calling these? These are the healthy lips. So it goes with the whole line of the healthy, uh, healthy line um, that they they have out right now. This is the healthy lip velvet finish. This one's in Bear With Me, which that's what I have on right now. This is called Bear With Me, and they have these really nice doe foot applicators. I have that little hole. It's a little triangular. It's flat on the one side, so it's it's really nice to work on your lips very pigmented. There's that one there. That's Bear With Me. The other one is Dose of Rose. This one's really pretty too. I don't know if they have, I'm not sure the scent. They have a, some kind of a distinct scent, but I'm not quite sure what it is. But like I said, again, they're very pigmented. That's Dose of Rose there. I mean, look how pigmented those are. And then speaking of Physician's Formula, I did do a video. It will either be up before this or after this. I'm not really sure. If it's up before, I'll put a link up around here somewhere so you guys can go right to it because I was sharing uh, a few products along with it and I got the Healthy um, Foundation. This has an SPS, SPF of 20 and it's a brightening complex. So I have this. Then there's the Spotlight Illuminating Primer. I purchased this um, and it is a really nice illuminating primer. And then speaking of foundations. I actually picked up, and I have not tried this one yet, I did pick up the Lasting Finish Breathable uh, Foundation from Rimmel, and this, I always have to laugh, this is an ivory. I have to laugh 25 hour, like I always think, who in the world would wear their foundation 25, 25 hours worth? I guess unless you're an actor or actress that has to really be hardcore to your you know, you're filming or something, maybe, but I, I, 
I don't know. I mean, is there anybody out there that wears a foundation 24, 25 hours or 24 hours or whatever? Uh, let me know. And along with that, I picked up the Lasting Finish 25 Hour Breathable um, Concealer. I want to try this out. I cannot wait to try that one out. So I did pick those up and I'll keep you updated on how they're working out. And along with some lips, I did grab one of ELF's Liquid Matte Lipstick in Tea Rose. I love the color Tea Rose in their, li their lipstick itself, which is really crazy. Look at that. It's almost like I barely have anything in there. Like really? I don't know what to think of that one. Now it seems to be all right, but hmm. Makes me wonder how much I really have in here. I mean, I do realize it's only $3, but still. Let's see, because I love this color from the lip. Ooh. Oh, that's so pretty. Yes, love it. That is so pretty. Oh, I like that. I mean, it's just a natural look. It's not, you know. I can even put my love child on top of that. Maybe that's what I'll do. Doesn't feel too bad drying, although, hmm, as it was drying, I was seeing it showing my lines in my lips. We'll see, because I didn't really get to scrubby my lips too much today, so we'll work with that and see. The Wet n Wild Blossom Glow Highlighter. They have other shades of these highlighters here. Not sure how well you're going to see. Focus, focus. This one here I got is Precious Petals, and I've showed you the Precious Petals quite a bit. It's like one of the most popular. Well, Tara Babies was showing the Blossom Glow, and she was comparing it to, I believe it was one of the Dior highlighters, and it looked spot on. Uh, I'll see if I can find that video and put a link down below. So this is, what did I say this one was again? Blossom Glow. And there it is, right there. It is so pretty. Totally forgot, I picked up two palettes from uh, the Jueva. Is it Juvia or Jueva? I picked two palettes up from their site. One was an eyeshadow, one was a blush. So this is um, number two. They don't, it doesn't have a mirror or anything, but this is the second one, palette number two, and it is so gorgeous. I would probably actually even use some of these as a eyeshadow. I know some people have been doing that, and I did pick this one up and thought it would work out with some of the shades for me as a blusher and some as a highlight, like these two colors in between here are very kind of almost highlight and topper kind of a thing. The Saharian 2. Now they were having a sale is what happened. And I really wish I'd known sooner because there was another palette I wanted to get. I grabbed this one because there was only a few more to pick from out of everything. And I wanted to try their eyeshadows. So here's the colors here in this one. They are very pigmented. I will use another time to really swatch and show you more in in with them that they are very pigmented. And then I believe that is everything. So I have a couple shout outs for you guys. I guess the first shout out is Happiness Sparkles Francis. I've known her for such a good while now. She is such a sweetheart up from Canada, but she originally came from Ireland and she's just a lovely lady here on YouTube. She loves her purses. Let me just say, if you are somebody that loves handbags and purses, she has some wonderful top-notch brand names, and she just, she loves her handbags. Um, she's also shared uh, some of her weight journey going on. She does a little bit of everything, though. You know, she's uh, she's along on this journey with a lot of us in the skincare, and she's just such a sweet lady to watch. I really enjoy her, so I'm going to put a link down below to her channel. Please go check her out and share some love and subscribe if you like. The other shout-out is Finding My Tiara, Pr Patricia. I have known Patricia for a long while now, probably getting close to two years. I met her through the MAB group. Uh, as I said, that there is quite a few that I've met along the way through the MAB group. And she is such a lovely Southern 
woman on here. I love watching her. She does a lot of get ready with me's. She does a little bit of a variety of everything. And let me just say, she has some gorgeous golden blonde hair. I mean, her locks of hair is just gorgeous. She has beautiful eyes. I've noticed her eyes too. She has gorgeous eyes. I'm going to put a link down below to her channel. Please go check her out. Show us some love and subscribe if you like. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. Go ahead and click the subscribe button down below as well as the bell. As I always tell you guys, the bell is important because it will help notify you of when my videos are uploaded and ready to watch. You'll get it by email. So make sure you hit the bell and the subscribe button. Also, if you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That helped me out so much, and I very much appreciate that. Also, make sure you share, because between the two of them, it will help me get noticed more out there and draw in some maybe more connection with other people. So please make sure you go ahead and share my video and give me a thumbs up. And as always, please, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. Bye. We'll see you then. I love you guys. Bye.